hello welcome back to my channel if you know you're welcome and i hope you stay today i'm going to show you how i make my seafood okra soup without wasting time let's just get started i'll start by boiling my okra i'll get a pan come in with my chopped okra then add some water so basically i'll boil it till the okra becomes very soft I'll add a pinch of salt, cover it up and bring it to a boil. In this recipe, I'll also be using some crops. I've got here some blue crops. I'll be using spinach and I'm using about 200 grams. I'll also be using some shrimps. I've washed and cleaned it very well. I'll also be needing some fresh tomatoes. Finally, I'll be using some fried fish. Here I've got onion, ginger, fennel and some garlic. I'll just go ahead and blend them. So I'll get a pan and put it on medium flame. I'll come in with some oil. Then my blended onion, garlic, fennel and ginger. I'll let this fry for about 5 minutes. Afterwards I'll come in with the blended fresh tomatoes. A little bit of my favorite seasoning. Some salt to taste. I'll give it a good stir, cover it up and let this cook for about 10 minutes. So it's been after about 10 minutes, as you can see it has thickened up. I'll just come in with my crops. I'll come in with some water. I'll cover this up and let this cook for about 10 minutes. Afterwards, I'll come in with my chopped spinach. I'll go ahead and cover this up and let it cook some more. So I realized my pan was too small, so I had to transfer it into a bigger pan. I'll go ahead, cover this up and let this cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now I'll come in with the shrimps. Then the fried fish. I'll cover this up and let this cook for about 5 more minutes. Afterwards, I'll pour in my cooked okra. Now, this is the biggest pan I have and as you can see, I'm struggling a little bit, but it's okay. It's not overflowing. I'll go ahead and try to just give it a little mix. I'll let this simmer on low flame for about five minutes and I'll put off the flame. So it's all ready now and I bet you guys the soup smells and tastes delicious. If you love seafood, you should definitely try this seafood okra soup. So this is it and I hope I did help you. I hope you are going to give this a try. If you do, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye!